Hey, uh, welcome to the five C's. This is Planet Head. Um, if you've watched my videos before, uh, you know that I play a lot of EVE Online. I still play a lot of it. Unfortunately, recently I have run out of a few things that I would like to make videos about. I'm not grinding, I'm just doing a lot of exploring, um, which doesn't really, uh, after a little while, you run out of things to make videos for. So while I'm still playing, I want to get back to making videos, and I thought maybe for a little while, a good series I could do off and on is 30 minute um, run throughs of my other favorite game, The Long Dark. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and boot it up here. Um, it is my favorite survival game. It's one of the few. I, I don't play a lot of games. I find one that I really like and I keep doing it. I've been playing this one for years. They keep updating it for free. Um, disclaimer here, do not attempt to use what you learn here in real life. Doing so could be injury or illness to your own death. So, um, I'm not going to go into the huge backstory, uh, of the long dark. Maybe as I, uh, play more and more sessions, what I'm thinking is doing about a 30 minute session each day the or to show when I'm videotaping. I've, I've played this game a lot, but there's they keep updating it. There's places that I haven't been to and things like that. So I thought, let's make a run for it and we'll see how long I can survive. The biggest thing with The Long Dark is the, the way it is set up is that um, you cannot, you can save the game, but you cannot boot up you can't power game it by save a game, try something hard, and then die and reboot the old game. When you die, your save game goes away. So, the more progress you get in the game, the more fear that you have that you're going to die. <laughs> because you have a lot more time invested. Um, I've played hours and hours and probably hundreds of hours of this game. Still, I'm not an expert, as I am in almost everything. I just kind of throw myself in. Um, but, uh, just to show you here, there are some different things that you can do. There is a storyline mode. They're about to bring out the, uh, newest, the last of the story. It's been coming out over years. Um, so that's about to come out. I haven't actually finished that yet because I've gotten mostly into the survival mode, which is basically it drops you on the map or one of the maps. Um, all the maps are connected. And then uh, you just try to survive. Um, the third part here are the challenges and some extras. The challenges are especially set up scenarios for you to try to beat, that sort of thing. We can go into that later on. So I just want to jump and start playing. I have about an hour before I have to be at work. I'm going to try to do this maybe. If I I was just playing a little bit of the EVE Online and um, I got a little bit stuck. It disconnected me twice. And I was scanning down some uh, anomalies. And uh, I didn't want to scan them down again. <laughs> I want to take a break. So we're going to do this today. And I'll, do, I'll put some videos up with this one. Make up a separate playlist as the history goes along with it. Maybe you can watch along with me. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new game. Now there's different levels of this. There's the Pilgrim level. Descriptions are over here. Voyager, Stalker, Interloper. Major thing here is... You, I would never really suggest, unless you just want to look around at the area, I would never really suggest Pilgrim level um, because it's just really, really basic beginner. I would really more suggest trying the storyline out first to learn the game. Voyager is more of an intermediate game um, where uh, you don't have as many problems that are out there and a lot of the things aren't coming at you. The weather isn't as bad, that sort of thing. Um, and everything's available to you in that. Stalker is the second to the toughest level, or at times even the tougher of the levels. Um, you still have access to everything, but in each one of these levels, your um, your uh, ability to get things becomes tougher and tougher, and the weather gets tougher. Um, Interloper is by far the hardest, and so one I play most of the time uh, it is a very expert level. I would never suggest start starting to try out and play like this because you will die fairly quickly um, and you kind of have to know have a good feel for some of the maps um, 
the game is another thing I like about the game is uh, you can make maps but it is not as if it will show you on the map you have to still know the terrain you have to know what's out there um, so interlope is what I normally do but recently I've just started trying to do the custom um, custom is so far I've liked it a little bit because I can choose a few things make things a little bit harder or a little bit easier the biggest thing with the interloper one here is that uh, this is not while this is a first-person view it's not a first-person shooter but the prior levels you can find a rudimentary gun and you can find a rifle and a rudimentary revolver they are nowhere near you're not gonna be using them very often because you're very limited on your ammo but um, it allows you to have them the um, interloper level take some of those things away that you will never get. So you'll find books that show you how to use them, but you'll never find it. So I like to have that openness. So that's why I've decided to start going with the custom level, because I can start choosing um, things that are in there. Make things tough or so easy. Now, this is the um, custom level. Uh, it starts off at the lowest level possible, but if you want to take it all the way up to the interloper level, you can do that. Um, if you want to do interloper, interloper will randomly drop you on a random map. That's another one. You have to figure out where you're at. Um, with interloper, with the custom level, you can choose which match map to be dropped on. Still randomizes where it's going to drop you, but um, at least you got a little bit of a semblance. And I want to play it where I have a few goals of looking through some areas that I've never been to. Um, so I want to do this one. So we're in here. I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly. Maybe I'll go over this down the road. Um, but long story short, as you see here, you've got some all these different things that you can change on it. Anything that is a high level, I'm going to put to high just so I'm not going nuts. Um, starting weather, uh, I'm just going to put clear. This is only the first day. It I have the weather changing fairly quickly. And you'll see it's not as clear as you would think. Um, time of day, we're going to do it at the beginning of the day. Now, ironically, uh, beginning of the day, is, while you can see, it's actually tougher because it's actually colder. And you are starting off with almost nothing at this level. So I'm going to scroll down here. Calorie burn rate, we're just going to drop that down to high just to make it a little bit easier in the freezing rate. Still really bad, but let's give ourselves a chance here. Good, good. Because... The other thing, too, is I want to explore, while I could explore the lower levels, I want to have the, the, the gameplay of trying to survive, but I also want to explore. Item decay rate, we're going to drop that down to high. Good, 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 good. Just looking through here real quick. Last but not least, oh, and you've got your uh, spawns here of different things. Um, and this is the main one here. I wanted to give myself the ability to maybe find a revolver or a rifle. Doesn't mean they will be easy to find, um, but I've got the chance of finding them, which is important. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll that through. Here's the map. These are the different maps that you can drop in. Each one of these maps has its own distinct personality and things. Some of them, like Mystery Lake, is an easy one. Uh, the blue makes it easy. Uh, green is somewhat harder. Um, red is hardest. Uh, give you an idea, Hush River Valley and Ash Cannon have very few, if no, human-made things there. Any um, uh, areas to live in. Same, Timberwolf Mountain has maybe one cabin. Whereas Mystery Lake has um, multiple areas that you can stay in. Uh, the Bleak Inlet has a gas station and a couple things there. Pleasant Valley has a little town, as long as Mountain Town does. So places that you can scavenge. So these areas are a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to go with Broken Railroad. I haven't spent a whole lot of time here. I know the main areas, but I want to really scout this out. Could I look it all up online? Yeah, but that's no fun. So we're going to jump right in. Confirm that. We're going to be the mail guy. And we're going to... Now, I've accumulated some feats that I can use. I'm only going to use two because as you play, you can accumulate a few small things that might be able to help you. Um, I'm only using two because on Interloper, you're only allowed to use two. I could use five with the custom, but I'm only using two. Go with that. 
and we're ready to roll. Grab some coffee. Ironically, if anybody's watched my videos, you've seen I only drop, drink a lot of coffee, and in here you can find mugs of coffee. So let's see where they drop me. Now I may get quiet here for a second as I try to figure out, or I may keep talking. Alrighty, so you got the wind going on. Okay, so the dawn is coming up. Now that is... Oh, I know exactly where I'm at. Well, this is nice. I am... That is the... Um, tunnel to Forlorn Muskeg, which is another area, so I'm on one area. I have a long way to go. I need to get moving. So, long story short, I need to... I know this map about halfway, and I know that I am a long... Ooh, there's a deer. There he is. All right. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Is that something over here? Nope. Okay. So, long story short, um, I have a long trek to go. There is a workshop area that I can get to. Hey, Mr. Deer. If I find my gun, I'm going to come get you. Um, but, uh, good, good, good. I need to get to that. So this is where knowing the map helps you. There would be no way if I didn't know the map to get here. But like I said, I only know it about halfway. I know major landmarks, um, and things change. They're constantly updating this game. Been around for... I realize, I think this game's been around since like 2013-ish, They but they literally constantly update it. It's, it's an independent group or independent um, software developer. I think this is the only game they make. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I am scavenging um, some cattails. Uh, it gives me a little bit of food that I can use in the future. I'm only going to grab a few here. I can't spend a lot of time out in this cold. If you notice on the bottom left... Oh, you, got, you can't see it. Shoot. Okay. Uh, I'm, next time I play, I will have to change my video. On the left-hand corner, it shows that I am now starting to freeze. I've got a little ways to go, but my health bar... Oh, that is such a, an opportunity thing to look at there. Um, wonder if, let's see here, I'm going to try to, because it really takes away from the experience here. Task manager, okay, there we are. I think that might fix it. Let's get my ugly face moved. Good, we got Rayla sitting out here looking over the thing. So that's fantastic. Okay, let's jump back in here, hopefully. There we go. I think this is going to work. Back. No, no, no. Back. Okay. Back to the game. Okay, so you can see my bars down there. Notice. Oh, almost fell off that. Um, the cold bar on the far left was going down. It has now reached the part that I have to worry about where I am starting to lose health while I am out in this cold weather. Um, the second button there is my um, tiredness, whether or not I'm sleepy, worn out. Okay, so I have fatigued myself. I need to gain my running speed up big thing here is I need to get to that area. Um, once I get there, I can kind of make a base camp and get rolling from there. But I also have to avoid any wolves or timber wolves or moose or whatever. And this is the spot where I normally, this is a scary part right here. So I've got to get through this area. kind of a bottleneck. If there is a wolf out here, I have to be very, very careful. Not seeing anybody just yet. Wolves are random. 
They'll spawn in generalized areas, but they move around. Good. I'm basically picking up almost anything I can find on my way there, just so I can possibly have some things in the future to use. Alrighty. Okay, I now have frostbite risk. Reason being that, um, I'll just show you here real quick because I need to get where I'm going. I don't have any gloves or a hat. I do have some really bad shoes. Um, so I need to either find those or find the stuff to make cheap knockoffs. Or there's a chance that I might get frostbite. Ooh, this is like this poor fellow here. Pick up some feathers. I might be able to use you later on for a bow. That is a long ways off, but you never know. Pick up whatever you can find while you can. Anything here? I've put up, put my um, ability to find items very low. Um, that is a tree that I can chop, chop down and use, make into either um, a bow or arrows later on. It's a certain type of tree, but I need the goods to do that with. Wow, I'm kind of surprised I haven't run into anybody yet. All right, they are actually working on a co-op mode for this as well um, I'm not sure how that's going right now but I know they're working on it there's been some demos for it okay this is the important part this is kind of like the last run nice thing to do is to follow okay did you hear that there's my wolf he's somewhere near here usually there is some couple of them near where I'm trying to go. Just need to be careful here. Hear that? Okay, there he is. So I was able to get in here. Where are you, Mr. Wolf? You ran. There he is. Now, wolves will chase you, but normally they will stalk you to try to get you closer to other ones. I think Amanda doesn't like the wolf. <laughs> okay, I need to get that way. Not sure where this wolf is. Oh, you can hear him, though. I'm just going to make a run for it. Come on, buddy. He's behind me. There might be more wolves up here. Amanda, shh. We'll get in here real quick and take a look to see if he's following us. He is. There he is, right there. Close that door. <laughs> yeah, you thought you could get me, didn't you? You thought you could get me, buddy. But you're running away now, because probably more of your friends are over here. Got to be careful. That's the spot I'm looking for, right there, that building. So, and that will, if I can make it there, then I, that is the start of a good game. So we're going to go for it. want to keep close to these trucks in case there's another wolf in the area I haven't heard any oh there's another really there we go Let's see if anything's in there so very simple game um, there's a lot more out there that are better graphics the nice part is it's been around for quite a while and they keep updating it aha we made it in okay now, the big thing here is I need to get that bottom left-hand corner where I'm not freezing anymore. As while that is red, I am losing health. So this closed-in area here is a spot where I can maybe get a few things. I'm still negative there. 
So I need to find a spot. I know where it is. This is where knowing the map is. Um, if I can sleep here. See here where it feels like it's three degrees outside, but the bed warmth is five degrees. Um, this is just a generalization. Uh, I'd almost like them to not have the actual degrees on here. Just say, really cold will warm you up to not be really cold anymore. That's the only negative that I see here, but you have to have some numbers in the game. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest for about an hour, try to get my temperature up. Um, as the day warms up, maybe the inside of this building will be a little bit warmer, so I don't have to. But there you go. Do you hear the wind outside? As I said earlier, the weather change, I've set the weather to change a lot and be very harsh. Um, you can hear the wind going at this point. Let me go ahead and pause at this point. Well, no, we'll keep going. Because time is money in this game. Uh, this is very similar to all the EVE players that are out there playing in low sec. Um, but notice down here in the bottom left-hand corner, my temperature gauge is slowly going down because I'm still negative degrees in this room. It's not going to warm me up. Uh, maybe later on in the day I'll get a little bit lucky and it'll warm me up there. Um, so uh, I do want that to go a little bit higher. Big thing here is every time you sleep, that's when it saves your game. You can't physically save a game unless you log out. It will save where you're at. Um, but if you want to save the game, you can only save it by sleeping. I'm going to do that here. And I'll go ahead and pause after that because I'm going to end the game this so I, I've made my objective. Maybe every day I'll give myself an objective to get to and do a video about that. Um, so there we go. So long story short, that is an introduction to the long dark. I think I'll do some videos with the same character. Uh, and you'll see, like right now I'm super happy and talking and blah, blah, blah. As the game keeps going, you get more and more intense. Um, so... I'm just going to keep playing, um, or I'm going to play 30 minutes a day before work and have some fun. This is how I normally do it. Most of my time is going to be with Eve still. If I come up with anything or come across anything with Eve that I see that's fun, um, I'll make more videos with that. Uh, probably bounce back and forth, but this is good filler because I want to have stuff to put out. So other than that, I have about 30 minutes before I have to get ready for work, so I'm going to drink some more coffee, relax for a minute, and head on out. Uh, I hope you guys are starting to have a good weekend or getting close to it. I have two more days of work, and then I'll be hitting mine. Um, but other than that, have a great weekend. Uh, for the EVE players out there, fly safe, fly, danger fly dangerously, and have a good one. Alrighty, bye-bye. Well, I guess I actually have to log off here. Ha <laughs> ha! So we'll go ahead and quit. There we go. So I can get to my cursor. Come on. Boy, we're running a little slow today. There we go. 